Now, uh, Mr. Rose, before you go any further, last week we talked to you and you said Moondog Maine was too scared to come down here on TV when you were here. Well, I got news, he is here. Moondog Maine is here, but Moondog Maine, if you're listening in the back, I want to tell you something. You come out here and you stand in front of that camera and if you say one thing, just one thing that I don't like, I will take this right here. It's over here for the stretcher. Take this, lay it out, and I will cripple you in front of everybody before the match tonight. Because what you're about to say about me, and what I've heard you're going to say about me, I don't like. And I'm not letting you come out here and say anything bad about me. So I'm telling you, you come out here just once and say the wrong thing, Moondog Maine. You're going to end up right here. And we're going to have to get a couple Paul Bears for you, just like they did for Mondo Guerrero. Moon well, I'll tell you, Mr. Rose, during the commercial, we're going to go back to Moondog's dressing room and tell him just exactly what you can't said if he hasn't if he's not listening and I've already heard it. Just go ahead and tell him. I told you what I'm going to do, and I'm going to do it. Moondog Maine, just stay out of my way, because the first time I lay eyes on you, whether it be now or tonight, I'm going to let you have it. Now, I want to say something that's very dear to my heart and very important, and that is that U.S. title. The U.S. title means more than anything else in the world to me, and I'm going to get it, and I'm going to take it, because Moondog Maine, you know, in the past, Moondog Maine has said the reason he has kept his title for as long as he has is because the people have backed him up. The people have cheered him on, kept him psyched and ready to go against his opponents, to defeat his opponents. Well, let me tell you something. You're going to need all the help you can get tonight in the Cow Palace, Moondog Maine. All the help you can get, because if all your fans don't show up, you're going to lose that belt. You know, I use the word if. I use the wrong word. Because even though your fans do show up, you're going to lose that. Oh, they'll belt. be there. You're going to be sure of that. They'll He's back the moon dog. Every single fan he can get. You know, Moon Dog Maine talks about how he likes hometown advantage. He calls the Cow Palace hometown advantage. That's right. You have hometown advantage, but the Playboy can overcome it because I am that much better. I am that much better than you. You know, you've got that U.S. title around your waist because you earned it, and you earned it by beating the man that was a U.S. champion before that. Well, for the people, like I've said the last two weeks in a row, and I'm going to say it one more time because tonight's the night and I'm ready. For the people that have never seen a U.S. championship change hands, it's going to happen tonight in the Cow Palace. Playboy Buddy Rose is going to get his hand raised, and he will be the new U.S. champion. And by the way, when I leave right now, I'm going to get my hair styled. I'm going to do the roots. I've been on a lot of airplanes lately. I haven't had time to stop at any place right now, but I heard there's a nice... Uh, there's a nice little beautiful lady that does the hair better than anybody else in San Francisco and I'm going to go down there right now, I'm going to have my hair done and am I going to look pretty tonight when I put that belt around my waist. Ali, why not look so pretty when the match is over? Triple main event tonight, Saturday, August the 19th. Now look, we'll be right back with the more and tell you about that triple main event right after this. To make the uh, following announcements. In case you didn't hear, Moondog Maine has been killed in an automobile accident. He was killed earlier this week down in Southern California. Uh, he was scheduled to appear tonight at the Cow Palace, uh, but when the National Wrestling Alliance found out about the death of Moondog Maine, uh, the uh, U.S. Heavyweight Championship, which Moondog held, was put into escrow. Now, that means that for the last week there has been no uh, U.S. champion uh, by the... Um, National Wrestling Alliance. The number one contender for that is Buddy Rose. Now he will be fighting tonight, or wrestling tonight, against the number two contender, Dean Ho, for that particular title. Whoever wins that match will become the uh, U.S. heavyweight champion. Uh, Dean Ho will be fighting Buddy Rose in the main event tonight. Now because of the unfortunate death of Moondog Maine, other matches have also had to have been changed. The triple main event will take place, and of course, that's uh, the first event will be Buddy Rose and Dean Ho. Uh, Jimmy Shuka will wrestle Rowdy Piper in the second of three main events, and Mondo Guerrero will uh, wrestle Alexis Smirnoff. Mondo was hurt, as you saw, uh, but he will be fighting Alexis Smirnoff. That will be the triple main event at the Cow Palace tonight. As a special attraction, there will be a, a tag team match with Rick Youngblood from New Mexico and... Tahishi Anomi of Japan. Uh, they will wrestle Hiro Ito, also of Japan, 
and Park Sho, who is from Korea. In a preliminary event, Tendu Shimada of Japan will wrestle Texas Red, the masked wrestler. That will happen at the Cow Palace tonight. And also for the first time, we have a wrestler, Ed Wiskowski, who stands six feet five inches tall and weighs 285 pounds. He is known as the Polish Terror. Now he told the uh, fight promoters that he wanted to fight the toughest wrestler they could find. And they found someone, but that name has not been announced at this time. He is, uh, being, uh, he is being carted on the preliminary event, and uh, he doesn't know that yet. When he finds out, he's going to be upset because he wants to fight in the main event and will only do so at the Cow Palace if that is the case. So that is the uh, setup at the Cow Palace for tonight because of the unfortunate uh, death of Moondog, Maine, last week.